You guys asked for a cockatoo video. Okay. So, I would appreciate it if you didn't look perfect in this video. Show a little bit of your... Don't hurt me bad, but just like... Be a real cockatoo so people don't don't think that they're chill and awesome. Okay. Think you can do it? Without making me fear for my life? Hey baby. Hey baby. I am gonna preface this with most of you that know me know that I'm not a fan of cockatoos. I find them scary, intimidating, psycho, crazy, neurotic, scary, intimidating. Psycho, crazy, neurotic, scary, and intimidating. And somewhat unpredictable. So to put it in perspective, I would rather get bit by a macaw than this guy. When bandit bites me, it's to hurt me. Real bad. His bites suck. Um, okay, so... <laughs> Okay, seriously, don't be cute in this. It's gonna give people the wrong impression. I'm gonna be talking smack about you the whole time and I'm gonna look like a liar if you're good the whole time. I'm going to try to get footage of when he's at his worst because I'm gonna be honest, it almost happens daily where he's not great. Even today, I went to go get him out of his aviary and he's like, no just no interest. And it's something where if I push it and I were to push on his chest to get him to step onto my hand, which I wouldn't do, I would get nailed. If I were to peel his little toes up off of the perch to get him to step up when he's not offering, I would get nailed. There's very few times where I can literally slowly peel his feet off if I absolutely have to get him to step up for whatever reason and nothing is working in my bag of tricks and I peel his feet up, but I have to keep eye contact going on so that I can tell at like any moment, are you gonna shred me? What? Are you gonna shred me? Are you gonna shred me? No, we're good. And lately he's let me get away with it a couple times that I've needed to, but that's something you don't overdo with these guys. Where are you going? Where do you want to go? Well, how about not on my notebook? Because it's about you. These are the questions they asked. Uh, where is he? Can they can't even see you now. There. My least favorite type of cockatoo species okay. is. So like you said, not me. Uh. Oh, boy. I do love you. I love Bay Boy. He's super cute. Okay, my least favorite species species of cockatoo <laughs> is not the galah. Galahs are my favorite type of cockatoo. Yeah, you're my favorite. What's up? What do you want so bad? I don't know what you want. <laughs> what are you doing here? Oh my gosh, I can't even get through one question. I feel like you want to have a training session. It's like real bad timing. It's like, why? You got nothing better to do? You're filming a video. Um, do you want to show them the burrito? My least favorite yeah. species of cockatoo is the umbrella cockatoo. I'm sorry, I know a lot of you have umbrellas out there because you comment and everything that you have one and that obviously you still have your fingers to type with. So I get that some of you are happily with your umbrella cockatoos, but they are my least favorite. Why are they my least favorite? It was the first parrot I was introduced to besides a budgie. Uh, budgie, I had a budgie when I was very little. Umbrella cockatoo was the first parrot I was introduced to on a much more personal level and I didn't like it. <laughs> the, the crazy thing is I never got bit 
by that umbrella cockatoo or by any umbrella cockatoo. I've never been bit because I wear a helmet, I hide under their couch, I don't show up where they go, I don't hang out where they hang out. I did hold that cockatoo and everything, but uh, you're so distracting. Here's the thing, here's why I don't like umbrella cockatoos. I find them incredibly difficult to read. So their body language, I'm just like, and I think because my first experience was just scary, not scary for me, but scary for Dave. I was always worried he was gonna get attacked and we would be playing, having a good time and then all of a sudden he'd be like, whoa, 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 okay, stop. And I just wouldn't see the behavior change. Um, I feel like nobody's hearing what I'm saying because you are a, well, strutting around. Like, she's sorry. Well, um, sorry, dude. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, so. I'm sorry. So those of you that are not familiar with cockatoos, he just got heightened by me accidentally dropping stuff and scaring him. And when he got all heightened and he said, come here, uh, that was him getting overly heightened to the point where I could get attacked. And so that's why I immediately took it down a couple notches and tried to calm him down with whispering. Whispering is what I use to calm him down as quickly as possible. It doesn't always work, um, but it's my go-to. So when he gets super heightened and pissed off, he says, come here. But he says like, come here. Anyway, it's a trigger word, so we try not to say it. Um, he gets real angry and he'll attack. So, okay, focus. Okay, so one of the times that I held that umbrella cockatoo named Linus, I was holding him and Dave's like, hey, make sure you hold his feet because when I bend over to get into his travel cage to like clean it out, he's gonna try to attack me. So just hold on, don't let go. And I was just like. What's gonna keep him from being like, hey, this, is hold this chick is holding on to me so that I can't attack this guy I want to attack, so I might as well just gnaw her hand off. Um, he didn't, but you guys, just not cool. I met a really nice, Dave says, it's like the nicest umbrella cockatoo in Niagara Falls, and I was just freaking terrified. My energy is awful with umbrellas. I'm like, mm, they're really cute from over here. Um, I can appreciate how adorable their voices are. I just think they're neurotic in captivity, and they're scary and intimidating, and they have black black eyes and they freak me out. I think about, um, sorry, I think about behavior that he does that I work through and how, and how if it was an umbrella cocktail, I would be locking myself in the bedroom or the closet and calling for help. Um, which by the way, sorry, he's, um, molting. So he's super powdery. Uh, I have to do that even now. So I don't know how to explain it and maybe you cockatoo owners out there will help me in the comments of explaining this, but when any other species of bird gets upset, I feel like there's tells, like visual tells of certain feathers uh, raising or um, streamlining or uh, there's just a certain posture, like there's a, there's a physical body language change that tells you what that bird is feeling. And with cockatoos, I feel like it's more of an energy shift, like literally energy in the room has changed and it's like, oh no. So I had banded out while I was at the dining room table working on something and he was hanging out and then he was on a chair and he was chilling and there was just an energy shift. And I thought, if I videotape this right now, would I be able to explain to people what changed? And I thought like, I can't, there's nothing about his body language that, that is obvious enough to be like, this is what happened. This is what's going on. Do you want to be up there? You don't? Um, 
And then, so then I got up because it was gonna go down. I could just feel it. I could feel that he is like not happy. Just things changed. And uh, oh, don't get into anything because then I'm gonna be screwed. <laughs> just like strutting in front of the camera. Uh, my stories suck because I keep getting totally distracted. So anyways, I realized that like things were gonna go down. I didn't wanna be sitting in my chair, totally vulnerable. So I got up and I stood in like the corner of the room and looked at him and just waited. And I could just feel this energy, this tension building, building, building. So I picked up a pillow. Yeah, guys. You can't make this stuff up. Cockatoo owners, you know what I'm talking about. I picked up a pillow and I held it here and then he came at me and attacked me. He just full on like flew at me. So I held up the pillow and literally I saved a picture of the pillow. I'm gonna try to find it for you guys. Just a powder cockatoo splatter on the pillow. Um, that And that was, I held it up in front of my face, you guys, in front of my face. So. Wham, pillow, splatter, cockatoo. Cockatoo keeps going because angry cockatoos are, um, what do you call it, invincible? If you guys end up seeing me get attacked in the head by my cockatoo while talking smack about cockatoos, you all are gonna be like, yeah, she deserved that. She was talking crap about the species. I'm more comfortable with him here than in, boy. I love Bay Boy than anywhere else in the room because he can't like fly and attack me and he's not likely to do it from here. So you know it seems kind of backwards, but he's super not content. Uh I don't remember what I was saying. Oh yeah, the pillow thing. After that, I just kinda was like, Dave, and called for help because Dave's energy was apparently different and Bandit stepped right up for him, but I knew if I approached this guy, he would just keep coming for me. And I don't know what changed, like, but something did. Uh, would you like to go? But something did, something changed. Something changed for him. And was I aware of it? No, because I was working and I thought we were just hanging out, having a great, you know, quality time. Uh, and we weren't apparently. So, you know, not in his book. Also, the bird that is least likely to step up is Bandit. Uh, the bird that is most likely to get emotionally charged or upset is Bandit. The bird that I'm most scared of in the spring is Bandit. People always say cockatoos are famous for random biting. This is him not content, by the way. He's not wanting to do this. And I don't know if I should push it for the video so you guys can see what a discontent cockatoo looks like because I realize I don't really show the bad stuff because like I said, I'm wearing a helmet, I'm under a couch hiding somewhere in a dark little closet. Um, but I also don't want to get hurt. So how discontent are you on like a one to 10 scale? Um, the other thing cockatoos do that I don't feel like other birds do necessarily is they glare and Bandit has a worse glare. It sucks, but he literally like does a squinty eye at me and it is a full on glare. Cockatoos are kind of notorious for diving and attacking your head, just like full on like bam and then they get you and go. They're notorious for attacking feet, chasing you on the ground. Um, being foot chasers, toe attackers, random attacks, random bites. I say it with quotations because they have a reason. We just can't always figure out what it is. They, male cockatoos are notorious for being scary hormonal. Cockatoos in general are known for getting overexcited, which is over heightened, over stimulated, and then totally psycho. And it goes from like party to everybody's losing limbs. They're known for being extremely needy, emotional, and having random fears or dislikes. So I remember Dave telling me when he was filming a video, they got a new coffee table and his umbrella cockatoo at the time hated the coffee table and just screamed nonstop until they moved the coffee table because it took him a while to figure out what it was that was triggering the bird. I've also had a girlfriend who had a Goffin's cockatoo who hated 
orange for about a month. So anything that she had that was orange, out. He is totally distracted by the fact that he sees Dave and Capri outside. So that's the thing about Bandit is he, yeah, he sees Dave. Dave being around changes this guy. He just wants Dave. He gets super obsessive. He did attack me in the head the other day and I got it on film. So I'm gonna show you guys so you know that I'm not full of crap. But this is his calling. He's just so, he's so not content anymore. Obsessed about getting to Dave. So you see me cringing. It's because this can be like here at this level where he's just like, oh, I want to figure out how to get to Dave. And then it can get like, it's your fault. I can't get to Dave. And he attacks me. Do you want to go just stare at Dave? We can put you outside in the aviary and you can just stare at him. Yeah. So right now he's not stepping up for me. You guys, he's just looking at me. I'm going to see if I can show you. Okay. Do you want to come? He doesn't want to. If I'm like, hey. Oh, somebody came in the house. Do you want to go? Cute little feet. Yay. Good job, buddy. So I am on a brink with him. I'm on a brink that could go bad. So I'm just going to put him away while I can without Dave's help. Because, because Dave's on a workout walk. I bet. Yeah, I didn't realize it was all the birds' bedtime. Okay, well, that teaches me. So, this is Bandit, super pissed off. I'm not going to say it's random, but I definitely don't know why he is pissed. But I'm going to put him away because I don't trust him so much right now. But this is why I don't recommend cockatoos, you guys. I hopefully got that on video, but he wasn't flying to me as much as at me. And he literally dived on my head, like around here. It didn't hurt, um, even though I'm pretty sure that was his intention. 